Hello friends, in this video I'm going to work with edit and delete roles and permissions. Right now we have these uh, links, but I'm going to fix that. So first go to the resources, the views, admin and permission index. Okay, in the table we have the this edit and delete and I'm going to cut them add a div with the class flex and a justify end and here add a div with class space x .cho and paste that in now go to the save first and go to the permission and yeah we get in the end the edit and delete button and next we need to fix the start some styles so say class px4 and py2 and this is going to be with the bg i'm going to say blue bg blue 500 on hover it's going to be bg uh, blue 700 and the text is going to be white and also i'm going to add the rounded md okay copy this and do the same thing here so add class just now here we need to change the background to be red okay save this come here and refresh And when we are here, we are in the permissions, but why we've lost and we need to run the npm run watch. So clear this and say npm run watch to watch for the changes because you see here we don't see the colors okay now come here and refresh and yeah here it is edit and delete now for edit we need to add the road to go to the permissions edit and also we need to add the permission ID here. And here is going to be the delete. But here I'm going to add a form. So let's work with the edit first. And I'm going to uh, create in here. I'm going to save this as edit. So save us and edit blade.php here we need to say now permission update we need to add also the dollar sign permission and uh, we need to add the value here so I'm going to do something like this. And here I'm going to add the value, which is going to be the permission name. Okay, it's save. Now open the permission controller and create the edit method. So in here, 
create a function with name edit. Here we need the permission and dollar sign permission. I'm going to return the view permissions uh, edit and add the permission there. So compact permission, hit save. And if I refresh, we are in the permissions. And if I click edit, we go here, but we don't see the permission name and also change this and also this one. So in the edit, and I think also we need to, to change in the create here. The anchor tag is saying role index, but we need to say permission index, save closes, the same thing in the edit. Permission index, okay, and why we don't have the permission name because I make a mistake and refresh and here it is. Now we need to create also the method for updating. So create a function with name update. And here we need the request dollar sign request and also the permission dollar sign permission i'm going to validate the name and say dollar sign permission update and the validated and return to the road admin permission index. Okay, save, come here and refresh. Edit post updated. And also we need to change the create here, but if I click and uh, we have some, oh yeah, in the edit, we need to add also the method. So method is going to be put or patch what you want and also because we are here change the button to be update save come here and refresh again say updated update and the post is updated now the same thing for the roles so go to the roles and save this as a Edit we need to change this to be update and add the role here, dollar sign role ID. Now the method is going to be uh put. Here we need also to add the value and I'm going to add it here so value is going to be dollar sign role name and here we need to change this to be update okay save uh, go to the roles and also we need to change this one in the index so in the permissions index, copy this and paste in the roles index. When we have this edit and delete, just change the role to be roles edit and add the role ID here. Save, refresh. Okay, click edit. Oh, we don't have the 
method now. So close all them and open the roll controller. And here create a function for edit. We need the roll dollar sign roll and here return the view which is the admin roles edit and also add the role itself so role save and if i come here and refresh we have the name here and uh, when roles edit why we have this post name change the role name the same thing in the create yeah role name and uh, now we need also to create the method for updating so get a function say update and we need the request dollar sign request and also the role dollar sign role i do the same thing validated this and say the role update dollar sign validated and return to the admin roles index save come here and refresh now if i uh, remove this and click update we have the validation and if i say admin updated we update the oh we change the role admin and now let's open the database because we we don't have the role admin we add the role admin and we updated the role so we need to fix that do not update the role admin only the other roles so let's open this one and connect select the admin and roles and this one we need the admin save and come here refresh and yeah so go back we need to display only the others roles not the admin anyway so if i go to the user and say up click update and we update the on the role okay friends please subscribe and uh, like the video and see you in the 